Hello all you YouTubers out there. This video is going to be from uh, Little Dave's Garage uh, on my favorite subject, Harbor Freight. Love that, har that store. Cheap stuff at a good price. Good quality in general. I always use discretion. But this one's on the Harbor Freight motorcycle dolly, which is now my second one I just acquired. And I'll show you the improvements that I make on this. First improvement, biggest improvement, is I add these wings so that the motorcycle tire can go straight down the middle. And I've never been able to line up perfectly. So I made these wings up. It makes it a lot easier. You can always get the front wheel, but the back wheel's confusing sometimes. Another little improvement I will make is I'll add a piece of pipe to the handle. Show you what that does here. This is a Yamaha V Star 1100. It's a little big for the dolly, maybe, but we'll get to that later. I add that pipe on the brake, ramp, whatever you want to call it, and I can put it on with my foot while one hand on the bike to stabilize it. To get it off, again. I'm just lazy. Why bend over if you don't have to? Now, if you've seen, I have a wheel chalk that I made just out of rebar and welded onto the dolly so that I can mount this dolly on a small, again, Harbor Freight trailer. And because my car is not designed to haul a trailer, so I don't want to put a lot of weight on it. And the trailer with dolly, it's minimal. The pulley I use, I also put a, again, Harbor Freight lightweight ATV winch on the trailer. And I can winch the bike up onto the trailer behind the car. Works great. Interested? I'll maybe make a video someday of that. But, again, next, next improvement. I, I drill a half inch hole in the dolly to use for a secure strap. Now, I don't recommend using straps like this, which is what most people do. They just loop it over and hook it on. Not very secure. See how easy that come off? I take a little piece of strapping, make it a loop, flip it over the bar, chinch it through the loop, down to the pulley, down to a pull to tighten. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Now, because the Yamaha's got a really wide kickstand, a little long kickstand, and it ends up on the dolly anyway, I mounted that plate just so I have more room on it and a little bit of a barrel out if I make a mistake somehow. But this... Oh, forgot the other thing too. When you move them around, sometimes people have said the dolly fell over. So I mounted this uh, outrigger just so the dolly cannot flip on that side because as we all know you try and move a dolly it's tough sometimes people like to grab the bike just manhandle it if you use one you know what it's like till that dolly or that uh, caster flips in the direction you want it to go 
it'll fight you. Now, to avoid that, be smart. Use your foot to kick the dolly until it starts to move easy. Huh. Once the caster pivots, it moves fantastically easy. But use your foot on it. Use your head, not your brawn. What other one? Yes. Another thing that people like to do on these, I've heard, I disagree. You disagree with me. Do you make, you know, is this bolt. They like to take it. On the other side of it is a flathead screw. Phillips screw, usually. And they like to flip this over so that the nut doesn't cut their tire. Well, every motorcycle I've had had rounded tires on it. And if you put the flat head up, you've pretty much got a sharp edge right there. The nut's a little rounded off more. But if you look underneath it, Get this out of the way. As you can see, there is no way that tire is going to come anywhere near those bolts, those nuts. I've had these dollies for 40 some years now and never had a problem. Never cut a tire. Uh, speaking of those casters, at least once before I put them on, I pull the pins out of the axles, simply loosen the, take the nut off, pivot it, pull the axle out, grease it, put it back in. And I fill this with oil. And you really can't see too well underneath. But I also fill this bearing with oil. That's very solid right to do that. Anyway, uh, I hope you all have a many happy rides. Two wheels down. As you can see from looking out the window here in the Berg. We's all going to get on the bike now and go for a ride and enjoy the clear skies. It's maybe 65 and rising degrees, so it's still worth going. Hey, have a good day. I hope you like this video. Would like to see your comments. I like suggestions. If you have any suggestion that would improve it, I listen. The more suggestions I listen to, the more I learn, the more I know, and the closer I am to my lifelong ambition is to be a fucking know-it-all. Happy rides.